I'm Sophia. And I'm Leslie, and we are the student anchors for the show. Full Tan is the first district program that is produced by students. All the stories you see here are shot and edited from our point of view. So be on the lookout for the Full Tweet crew. We might be coming to your campus soon. Let's get started with this new program. Speaking of new things, Bond 2014 has been a hot topic lately. Leslie, can you tell us more about it? For those of you who don't know what a schoolhouse bond is, it's basically a school district's method of paying for improvements all around the district. This year's $100 million bond was influenced by aging facilities, security concerns, and an opportunity to consolidate all of our resources. The bond includes new construction of replacement campuses for Windsor Park Elementary as well as Los Encinos. There will also be a replacement campus for Culp and Wilson Elementary where they will be moved and combined into this new facility. Oak Park will be given an eight classroom addition and each middle school will receive an upgrade of four track lanes. The high school will also be receiving district-wide security upgrades. Thanks, Leslie. Voting for the bond is on November 4th, so mark your calendars. If you need any more information about polling locations or more about the bond itself, visit CCISD's website and click on bond information. So the full tweet crew went to Buck Stadium recently to capture the sights and sounds of the high school band showcase. If you didn't get a chance to attend, here's what you missed. Every day that I conduct for my band, it means a lot to me just to go and lead and to perform for people knowing that, you know, we're giving our all 100% every single time. It's a really good diverse mix. Uh, you have people from everywhere. Everyone's really friendly. And just because I really enjoy playing music and what's more than marching band than being a drum major. Like a place where I can just be myself and just connect with everyone that like that's around me. It's a great experience. It's just an awesome opportunity to be in a big family with people who care about the same things you do. It teaches you a lot of lessons that apply for life, discipline, responsibility, and it's just really en enjoyable actually, for me at least. <laughs> Everybody give 100% all of their time, you know, play your instrument, march correctly, you know, just as long as you give your heart and soul to it, you know, that's the thing that matters. and determination and discipline, but it, along with all of that, it's a lot of fun, and it's a great experience. It's such a great experience. You will learn a lot of things from people who know a lot and people who go through the same things you do. You all can relate to each other as a family, not only a band, but it feels like I'm siblings with everybody. In the world. We're just one unit and for us to represent one unit, one school, it's just a great feeling all around. It's not easy. It's not going to come, you know, straight out of hand. Um, it's a lot to do, but at the same time, you have so much fun and you make a lot of memories. That looked great! All the bands are looking super prepared for the contest. Admittedly, we all spend a lot of time on our phones and tablets, and I have my favorite apps, and I know you have yours as well. So we went out and asked Sophia to look into some cool apps for students. Let's see what she found. Hey everyone, I want to tell y'all about three apps that I think are really worth checking out. 
First things first, ever since iOS 8 has been released, the App Store has been flooded with these new third-party keyboards. There's some that can change the theme of your keyboard, its color, but my favorite out of all of the options is an app called SwiftKey. And basically, SwiftKey is a free version of Swipe Keyboard. For those who don't know, Swipe Keyboard is a way to type in one continuous motion as opposed to pressing each letter individually. And personally, I think it makes you type faster and it's kind of fun. Next I want to mention an app that I've seen so many students playing lately called Soccer Star. It's from the same makers that brought us 8 Ball Pool, but now it's in soccer form. You can challenge your friends or play against strangers, but who's gonna score that last goal? Finally, I want to talk about an app that's near and dear to my heart called Rick Riordan's Demigods of Olympus. It's kind of like Pottermore, but not quite. If you're a fan of Percy Jackson, like I am, then you're going to love it. Rick Riordan, the author of the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, has written these interactive stories where we can play as a demigod and fill in these blanks with our own choices. And our answers to these blanks determine our character, which god or goddess we're descended from, what our strengths are, what our fatal flaw is. If you've ever wanted to be a demigod right alongside Percy Jackson, this app gives you the opportunity. So Swift Key, Soccer Star, and Rick Riordan's Demigods of Olympus. Those are the top three apps that I wanted to share with y'all, and I hope y'all check them out. Thanks, Sophia. Always wanted to be a demigod, so I'll be sure to check it out. Seniors may want to find out about some apps to help them with life after graduation. Our full tweet correspondent, Sierra Nunez, went to the College and Career Expo to see what information was available for 2015 graduates. Here's her story. Hi, I'm Sierra and I'm here at the College Fair. Right now, I'm about to go find out what information that I can get from colleges, parents, and students. Come check it out. Protecting myself from the heat of the summer. I'm here with a representative from UT. So, what advice do you have for students that are applying for college at the moment? I definitely encourage you to start the process early. You should start researching your junior year, which universities have the majors that you're interested in. Also start thinking about um, taking your SAT or ACT um, early um, and making sure that you're ready to go come August 1st when that Apply Texas application becomes available. with the student at Miller High School, Lorenzo Barrio. And what advice do you give to the students in school that are stressed out with all the FAFSA and applications? I think my biggest thing is not to slack off. Because as a senior, like, we always like to slack off and like, why are we even doing this? But so I would recommend not slacking off at all. and they are visitors here at the college fair. How do you feel about your son getting ready for college? I'm a little nervous, but excited. <laughs> what grade are you in? I'm a junior. Where? Uh, Porter Hands High School. And what are you doing as a parent to support and like just give all that you can to your son? I'm allowing him to go to these colleges <laughs> and keeping him on track with his academics right now as strong as I can. That's all we have for today, folks. Thank you for joining me here. I'm Sierra, and I hope you have a little bit more information than you had yesterday. Thank you. Well, that was fun and very informative. Here are the top five things you need to know when getting ready for graduation. Number one, start early. Deadlines will come faster than you think, so you should start preparing up to a year in advance by looking at colleges and opportunities you might want to apply for. Number two, grab the cash. There are a variety of grants and scholarships and funding resources available, but you can only get the money if you apply. Number three, 
Don't get senioritis. If you get lazy your senior year, it will only make it harder for you later. Number four, take the SAT and the ACT. The sooner, the better. So you can have the opportunity to increase your score if you're not satisfied with the results. And finally, number five, use your campus resources. The counselors at your school are there to assist you in getting all your paperwork in order and make the transition to college or career easier for you. So that brings us to the close of the first edition of our full tweet. We hope you enjoyed the show and we want you to be a part of it. If you have story ideas or something you want to air on the show, you can send them to us on Twitter at CCISC with the hashtag full tweet. And remember to spread the word on all your social networks by including hashtag full tweet. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next month with a fresh edition of the full tweet. We'll leave you now with the Ray BLC Parade. Bye! Fingers